Hey, have you ever hated somebody so much that you wanted to remove their head and wear it on your own? No, I want his face off. But maybe you will after seeing the Lightning Collection Power Rangers Lord Zed helmet. And goddamn, is this box big. Here's a size comparison. If that isn't enough for you, let's take it out of the box. So, if you don't know anything about Lord Zed, he debuted in Season 2 of Many More from Power Rangers as Rita's boss and eventual husband. And he freaked not only me out, but a whole generation of kids. And yes, I'm sure, like, hexadecimal or whatnot. But, like, the fact that he had no skin, you could, you could see his brain, like, his veins pumping the whole time, and the legendary voice of Robert Axelrod. He was an intimidating villain. And he lasted all the way up until... Power Rangers in Space, when breaking Zordon's tube, Andros released a Z-Wave that purified Lord Zed and made him human. And then his kid showed up later in Operation Overdrive, and we still have no explanation on how they had a child. But, questionable show decisions aside... Oh my god, look at this thing. This 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 is too much. This is insane. His brain is squidgy. Like da, 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 why 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 am I holding this? Why did I buy this? <laughs> Because I've wanted it since they released it. Oh. You can see all his nice teeth. Nice and chromed here. This section, which is normally covered up, we'll get to that in a second. His brain, which I think in the show is much more bright, vibrant red, closer to the Red Ranger helmet I showed off, but like. Uh, even the little bits of flesh on the side are squidgy. And no, unlike the regular helmets, we'll get to that in a second, you, at least I don't think you can open it, but you can remove the inner lining. his nervous system, and you have to kind of adjust it to your head to make sure that this will fit relatively comfortably. So I'll put that back in. I don't know how well you'll be able to see inside where it snaps. That's close enough. Can I actually get it in place? Where's that hole? Oh, it's up over there. There it is. All right. We won't put it on. I won't put it on yet. But this spinal column is a battery component. Battery compartment. It's the best way to show this off like that. Kind of peel it from down here. Ugh. And you have a battery compartment right there. Which is nicely covered up. 
I appreciate that. It's, it disappears. And it takes three AA batteries. Although I think I demolished the screw. So I can unscrew it, but I can't screw it in any tighter. And it's got these four clasps that you... Whoosh, it's gone. But there's more stuff in the box. First off, you get the big Z for Z. Or was it Ed? And this goes right here. You can see it's a hollow piece of plastic, but you, know, you need that iconic... How does that go on? Because it's definitely got to come off again if I ever want to put this back in the box. Hmm. Okay. How? You know what? Maybe these included instructions will help. No, not really. See, it does tell you to adjust the measurements first, but it just says slide it on there. Gonna keep sliding, trying to slide it on here. Cause these hooks are go right in these holes. But it's peeling. There we go. That just finishes off the look. It is also a massive fingerprint magnet, if you couldn't tell with all the chrome. And then we have the prerequisite helmet stand. You take these bits, rip this off. Why was it here in the first place? Attach this one to the base, rip the paper off this one, not plastic, paper, 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 this one slides on, and that's And then this part goes up top. Hmm, it's not a sound I want to hear. And you also have a Power Rangers logo right there that you can then shove the helmet supposed to go around the uh, think the part that attaches on your head but mm. ah. well at least we know that will come off relatively easily display yeah Size comparison. Here's the Red Ranger helmet. Here's Lord Zed's head. There you go. Is that enough of a size comparison? It's time to put it on. It's a little bit awkward, but I can do it with my glasses on.
just going to have to fiddle with it a little bit. But, oh, <laughs> oh my God. I can't, is it, does it light up with my body properly? I'm going to take my glasses off. Make it a better fit, I guess. And if it wasn't obvious, this isn't black plastic for the visor. It's actually kind of purplish. And it does give the whole room a slight purple tint. Basically rose-colored glasses at this point. So yes, you can wear it as a helmet, and it, it's hilarious. I have become Lord Said. And this, which I activated accidentally earlier, is a voice changer. It does its best to make you sound like Robert Axelrod. Rest in peace. But, like, here. Give you a random sound. What's weird, if I turn it off, I can hear both my voice and the voice processed through this. Like, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's just taking my voice and changing it. Also, I can't really remember very many good Lord Zed quotes. But this is just <laughs> You have failed me for the last time, Rita. Back in the dumpster with you. It's my own interpretation of what Lord Zed said. And now I have to watch the footage back to hear what that sounds like. Not in my own head. But this... This is too freaking cool. Like, I've, wa I've always wanted to be a Power Ranger. And sure, I like these more. But there's just something ostentatious about releasing the head. Not a helmet that he maybe took off. It had a regular face on it. No, just straight. The character's head is wearable. Like, not just a cheap $5 mask you could buy at your local Dollarama. Speaking of, it is incredibly hard to find this. I will link the website. I got it. Halloweencostumes.ca I'm sure it has .com and other domains for your country but it was a hundred bucks it was about half off what it cost on the website I guess in some supposed deal and I think a hundred dollars especially when you say separate into four bi-weekly payments possibly using Sezzle is pretty easy to stomach and I think worth it for this magnificence this is insane where am I gonna put this like looking at my shelf I have the white ranger helmet I'm gonna put the red ranger helmet back up there but initially I thought about putting Lord Zed's helmet up there I don't think I have space for it I have to find something but also, let me know in the comments if you want to see me wearing this at a convention. I don't think there's a full Lord Zed bodysuit to go with it. At least I haven't seen one yet. But hmm, I'm picturing a certain con walk-along where suddenly Lord Zed pops up out of nowhere. Oh, this, this helmet. This is insane. 
I still want the Pink Ranger and the Blue Ranger helmets. But I did see the Lord Draken helmet, which is... I love Lord Draken as a concept, but his helmet is not the coolest thing about his suit design. It's a little too close to the White Ranger. Sure, it's distinct, but it's like, maybe, maybe. The Pink Ranger and the Blue Ranger helmets are higher up my totem pole of wanting helmets. Which is a weird thing to say. Anyway. May the power protect you, or... Would this pass as a suitable motorcycle helmet? Probably not. Would somebody try that? I imagine they would. <laughs> Why haven't I seen a TikTok or a YouTube short of it yet? I don't know. Maybe those niches haven't crossed over enough to get somebody wearing... This probably isn't road safe. They probably end up on one of those police officer pulling you over TikToks, which was weird that that is a subset that I was watching for a bit with genuine, like, ooh, what's going to happen this time? What well, you know what's going to happen, pretty much. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. The comics gave Lord Zed a much uh, more in-depth backstory and gave him new ties to Zordon. I don't want to spoil any of those, but there's a good run of comics that is over at this point that I should really finish buying. But I stopped myself from buying comic books. Like Some really interesting things about Lord Zed. Other, beyond just what the show went into. And any last words? Good enough. Keep it weird. Bye.